Hello friends, and welcome to another one of Big John's experiments in Big John's laboratory. <laughs> we'll add some lightning in after. It'll be fine. Today we're going to fill gaps. You know you make a mini, you got a really cool mini, but he's got that freaking slot on it, and you gotta put it in the slot base, but then right here and right here, you got an open slot. What the fuck do you do? Or you go and buy those cool Necromunda minis. The badass Goliaths. And you got goddamn little gaps and slots and bullshit all there that make no sense. How do you fill them? What do you do, Big John? What do you do? Don't worry. I'm going to show you. Using Vallejo's plastic putty and my secret mixture. It's CA glue. And that's a dog. I wanted some wolves and shit in the background, but all I could get was whining dogs. However, we'll be back in a moment, and I will show you how to fill those gaps. Right back. Alrighty. Now, for filling up the little slot of bases, it's real easy. I tested it earlier, so this will actually work. On the bottom of it, I put a little bit of tape. Just some regular painter's tape. And uh, I've got my super thin CA glue and my trusty, trusty baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Now, what happens is when you mix these two, you've probably heard this from many other people, what it does is it polymerizes and the dog is making its noises again. Yes. Uh, you put this on the sodium bicarbonate on the CA glue when they touch they catalyze and polymerize and they get hard real quick. So, what you're going to do is take a little bit of this stuff now you're going to use more in this particular procedure than you would for a lot of things. But, all we got to do is fill up the bottom with the stuff, the baking soda. Make sure to get a nice coating underneath. Alright, then, dust off the top here, make it a little cleaner. Take your CA glue, and this is uh, a hobby shop brand stuff I put in this little container because I like the little needle. And then we're just going to drizzle it inside here. Make yourself a nice little la layer of the shit. And then put in some more of the baking soda. And you can get messy if you want, doesn't really matter at this stage. And everywhere that there is CA glue that this stuff touches is going to immediately instantaneously harden. Let that sit for a minute. And then pour it out. Have a look at what you got. Need a little bit more on this side over here. A little bit there. Just gonna fill in there. And probably need a little bit on the other side too, or else it's just gonna sit there. Alright. Then you're gonna off the outside or else you get this build up a little mountain that was my bad but it's easily dealt with now just dribble on a little bit more fills in there let it sit for a sec drop on some more yes I'm getting messy but like I said this can all be fixed with a little file work right afterwards Some more in there. Almost full. And just a sprinkle on top. And it is covered in plastic hard plastic. The slot is filled up. And you get this. 
which has a nice little texture on it. Now, if you want, once you let this set up for a little bit, you just take a file, file it down flat, and it's all filled up and easy. Now, if you're really careful about it, you can do the same with a miniature like this. That requires a little more delicacy, of course, but we're going to give it a damn shot. Put a little bit of our stuff in here, like so. Blow off the excess. The dog is has gone mad in the laboratory. Just cleaning it a little bit off camera. Now, very gently, go in with this. Fill there. And there. Now, the reason you put the baking soda on the bottom first is so when you remove the tape, magically, it is perfectly smooth on the bottom. Now, it might be just a touch tacky that's from the tape sticking on there, but solid brick of plastic on the bottom, solid bit of plastic on the top, and if you continue to do this kind of stuff, you can fill in these nice slotted bases, and it'll look, once you painted it, you won't even notice that it used to have a slot. Now, I'll be right back after a moment of resetting up a few things to show you how to use the plastic putty. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now, once you've done all that, you got this nice smooth little disc and you think, my god, Big John, there are little bubbles in places that are not even. What do we do, Big John? What do we do? I'm going to tell you. Plastic putty. Now, you probably see, you've seen similar things in hobby shops that are you know, 95 cents for a tube of the stuff, but it's not the same stuff. And liquid green stuff from GW, not really great for this particular use. And I always get them, the pot's all dried out and it's kind of useless. This is a very, very fine marble dust in regular acrylic resin, just like any acrylic paint, so it functions exactly like a paint. And you can use it in many different ways. And it comes with tiny, tiny little needle nose. So, you can squirt it in like so. And take a brush. Moisten it slightly. And just kind of paint it in. All around, get it in there. Now, sometimes when you're a giant ogre such as myself, you get a little bit overzealous and you start to push it outside of the little spot. So you get a little bit more and just want it to look nice and even. Like so. You let that sit, it takes just a little while and it'll set up. And then you can, it's really soft stuff, but once it sets up a bit, you can sand it off and whatnot. Now, when you have these little itty bitty gaps, which I won't bore you by zooming in too much because, well, if you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about. Annoying little gaps. The beauty of this stuff, and it's really cheap from Vallejo, it actually, you can buy two or three of these for the price of one of the higher end, like high dollar ones, maybe like liquid green stuff and such. That stuff's just overpriced and doesn't seem to work. I love many things that GW makes. That's not one of them. Now, this stuff can be watered down, just like a regular paint. All it is is acrylic paint with uh, marble dust in it. Makes it great. And, great use for these cheaper army painter brushes is getting this stuff inside these little cracks. Just gather a little bit on your brush just paint it on paint it on paint 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 a room yeah doesn't really sound like happy gilmore i know but i try and get it all 
in the gap. It's relatively easy. And you're going to let it sit for a bit. And when it starts to set up and dry a bit, you take a moistened brush and just start to paint away all the excess. Because, again, it works just like paint. And you just kind of smooth out the excess like so. It will dribble up here and it's too thick. Well, a little bit of water on a brush goes right away. Look at that. Look at that. Happy, happy filled gaps. Happy trees, happy gaps, whatever. Stuff could not be easier to use. Wish I'd have thought of it myself. Wouldn't exactly be rich, but about 15, 20 people would want to use it. And even if you uh, leave some on, once it's all thinned out and like this, you're not going to notice it. Because it's basically just a thin, thin layer of paint on there. Now, when you're done, you're going to see the white in the gap, of course. But, once it sets up, and you might need to put a couple layers of this stuff on build it up just a little bit it's rarely gonna be just a paint it on and forget it kind of situation with the really fine details but after a couple layers it will fill in and you'll barely notice it you can even mix in some flow improver and make an almost gap filling wash which is kind of neat for us OCD types I know. Dab it on. Dab, dab, dab. It sounds better. And easy peasy. And you look here on the base. The stuff has started to set up. Come by with that moistened brush and just kind of do that. Don't eat it. Don't lick your brush. It's a little bit. Well, it's marble. And. Now, my base is perfectly smooth. Well, not perfectly, but it's extremely smooth. And it's a hell of a lot easier than using the other stuffs. The cheap stuff you can get at the hobby shops, it's great for big-ass tanks and such where you don't have to worry about little details. But it's not acrylic base paint uh, based. It's... Uh, based on like the uh, enamel paint so it doesn't water down this stuff waters down just like paint and functions just like paint and it's only a couple bucks for this tube and I probably won't use this tube before I turn 50 oh yes I should probably put it down like so acrylic 100% uh, acrylic resin plastic putty from Vallejo the 20 milliliter bottle I picked it up for about four dollars Three, four dollars, something like that. Came out about six bucks after shipping. But if you have Prime and they sell it on a Prime site, it won't. But it's quick, it's easy, and you can fill up all your gaps. And this base here now is one solid piece. And once it gets primed, you'd never know there was a slot there. And when you've got a uh, miniature already on there with those tiny little slots, once you've filled up the uh, inside, you want to be a little more careful with this, of course. You'll never know there was a slot there, and you'll add a little bit of texture. Uh, the acrylic-based uh, stuff here is also good for a little bit extra texture. Just kind of slap it on here and there, and you make up a little, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's some little muddy spot and that right there. That was probably a horse taking a shit. But, quick and easy. Uh, hope this helped, and uh, have a wonderful oh day. Oh, my God, my cameraman has moved my camera. Uh, so, filling the gaps, very easy, very quick. I did several, it only took me a few minutes. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's a great use for the cheaper brushes. So, from all of us here, have a wonderful weekend, and keep on crafting or dying. Deathcraft style didn't really sound right, but I'll see you next time. Craft or die.